There was honor in it. There was mm -hmm. honor in that music. That's, I just realized this instant, was why the music was, there was a, there was a design and a decency and an honor and a propriety in the design of that music. And that's what that show was doing. Ferrillo's decency and honor and morality. That's what that was about. I wonder what Mike Post thinks it's about. I've never talked to him on the point. What about the opening sequence? Roll call, the whole the structure of that opening. That was a lot of fun to do. I just, I guess it's gutty. As I think back on it, it seems gutty. At the time, it didn't. I knew that the opening had to be, in quotes, wrong. It had to be sometimes out of focus. It had to be cameramen hunting for shots. I knew it had to be raw and wrong. I haven't used those terms until now. But I just knew that that was right to the extent that I didn't let the camera operators and the focus pullers see the rehearsal. I kept them out and I showed the rehearsal naturally to Kronjäger so he knew where to light it and where people were going to walk. And then we came in and I might have showed, I, th I think I showed the scene to the operators and the focus pullers without the cameras. They didn't get to use the cameras. And we had two cameras on, two cameras shooting east and then the same two cameras shooting west a couple times to get all the angles and all the people. So that scared them. And I had the background people talk, which Hollywood was opposed to for years. I had all of that noise and that chatter and did you bring a bagel and all that ad lib stuff, I had that done live. And the editor was hip enough to go with me on it because classically the editor would say, well, I can't cut because the the tracks won't match and hada 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 and, and I said, you know, my answer was, I don't care, that's the way we're going to do it. So there was this, there was this sound and this ambience that was really great, which permitted, and I didn't think about this, which permitted the focus pullers and the operators to talk to each other as the scene was playing. No, I'm on the guy with the hat, the guy with the hat, you know, whatever. No, a little tighter, a little tighter, whatever. So that's the way we shot the thing. I told the guys that the main characters. I mean, if you're on a main character, make it up in here and hada hada. You know, I gave him some guidance, some direction. But then we shot it just a couple times um, so that they could get variations of what they were doing. Then editorially, I don't remember the editor now who did a really nice job. And I told him, I said, use the bad stuff. As soon as the shot settles down and gets clean, and this is an exaggeration to make the point, I grant, Get off it and get, get on to something dirty. Use the dirty stuff, burn the clean stuff. Well, you can't do that if a scene is playing. But uh, that was the way the operators and the focus pullers shot the first roll call. And I remember Big Mike was very offended that there wouldn't be attention paid, there wouldn't be I don't know, more subservience on the part of everybody in the, in the room as he was making his announcements. He even threw his clipboard at one point and got all peeved. Thank God I had had enough mileage and calluses so I wasn't phased at all. I just said, Michael, Michael, please, will you come to the party and relax? This is going to be magnificent. Don't you get it? This is going to be magnificent. And he kind of settled down and and it was, it was damn good. I mean, it was just raw and kind of real and kind of terrific. And the director was right. God help him. He was more right than wrong. <laughs>